this past summer, my wife and I took my kids to this birthday party. It was lit. I mean, they had pony rides, a uh, jump house, and a petting zoo. The whole nine yards. I mean, it was out in the sticks for real, so I'm not sure if they brought the petting zoo to the party or the party to the petting zoo. Either way, it's not important. So, since we're out in the country at the corner of bum fucking Mayberry, I got no cell phone service at all. None. I'm assuming they use fucking carrier pigeons out there to keep in contact. I still don't know. So while everyone's eating cake, I walk out to the goat pen and try to make a phone call. It's sitting up on top of this hill. I thought I could get some service. As I'm standing there, I look down and see a little boy who looks to be about my daughter's age, two, maybe three, and he's just staring at the goats. When all of a sudden, this goat standing in front of us just starts dropping this massive deuce. Like, a lot. So much that it made me uncomfortable. The little dude starts laughing, then I start giggling like a little girl, and then shit goes zero to a hundred real fucking quick. Without any warning, without any whining, dining, or 69ing, old buddy just goes straight in for the kill and rams two fingers of this goat's ass knuckle deep. <laughs> I'm talking about two in the stink for real. So I'm sitting over here still giggling, trying to process what's going on. <laughs> mm, shit! What kind of country bumpkin ass shit? We ain't Kansas anymore. This ain't my kid, but I'm not just gonna let him sit there like that, so I just yanked the shit out of him. Pull him out of there. This goat was fucking furious that I didn't let him climax. I could tell this wasn't his first prostate exam as he backs his ass back up against the fence. And I'll be damned if old buddy didn't just snip his fingers and reinsert! I look down at the bottom of the hill. And I see his dad standing underneath this tree. And I'm like, ah, you know, look at this. Look what's going on up here. And all he does is like, hell yeah, son, getting him warmed up. Just like daddy taught you. <laughs> Chip off the old block. You nasty son of a bitch. As I look back down, I see Leave It to Beaver. He's still wearing this goat like a ring pop. I said, the hell with it. I'm going to get my wife. I'm going to get my kids. And we're going home. Just won't go home. If I'm a wife, I was like, hey, we got to go. She's like, nah. I said, yeah. She said, no. I said, bye. You can stay. It's like wrong turn out here. Uh, I had a little dude tell me I got a pretty mouth while he was fisting a goat's ass. I've seen enough. I'm out. See ya. So, I ain't going to no more birthday parties. Don't invite me to shit unless it's at Chuck E. Cheese. And then you can hold my shoes. <laughs>